Hello, Cancer. It's my lady, and this is my lady's way tarot. And I'm coming to do your weekly express. Nope, re weekly straight to the point reading for the week of in the week of September 11th through the 18th, 2023. The cards I'm using today are Steampunk Lenormand by Barbara Moore and Diana Camerano. And I'm closing off with the Steampunk Tarot by Barbara Moore. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, setting up personal readings, commenting, and hitting that notification bell. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, let's see what's going on with the cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right. Okay. So we got card number 11 here. So this card is about fighting. Um, this is about somebody whooping somebody physically or emotionally um, about something that they did wrong. Uh, I do feel like a lot of blaming is going on, but I also feel like people paying for their actions as well. Okay. All right. So we got card number 23. So I do feel like some sneaking around has been going on. Okay. Um, I do feel like uh, this, this situation is very worrisome and draining. Okay, but I feel like uh, definitely going to end up in mental or physical altercations. Okay. All right. So we got card number 26. So I do feel like um, somebody was hiding some kind of situation. Okay. Being sneaky. Hiding. Um, but of course, since it's leading to altercations, of course, whatever this is, it didn't got out. Okay. Okay, look, there it is. Card number 32, the moon card. So the moon is about secrets, but I feel like this half moon to me is about secrets coming out, okay? So something is getting ready to show up, and it's going to cause all kinds of issues and problems, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's weird because I do feel like somebody may be doing a little bit of sleep talking, okay? Um, for some cases, that's how it's going to get out, Okay. All right, so, yeah, angry mama. Okay, so we got card number 15 here. So this a card is about um, stability, is about a, a lot of structure, a lot of money. Um, this is about power. So I do feel like somebody felt like they was in control of everything because they might have been in control of the money. Um, but I do feel like they're getting ready to be exposed, okay? And it's just like money or not, I do feel like, they're going to pay for what they've done, okay? Like, no matter how much money you got, you're going to have to pay. Me, okay? All right, so we got card number 29 here. Um, so I do feel like somebody's just been watching for a while. So it's like I already know what's going on. Um, so now I'm just watching you. And I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. But I feel like this is the face of I'm going to get you back. Okay? I'm not letting this one slide. Okay? I am not letting this one slide. Sneaking around. All right. So, we got the tower card here. All right. So, I do feel like when this thing does happen, it's going to cause some destruction. It's going to cause a breakdown in the relationship. Um, but I do feel like somebody is going to start putting stuff away. I do feel like the money is getting ready to go away in some kind of legal issues. Um, so I do feel like somebody's going to end up taking somebody to court and taking everything they got. Okay. Or at least if they don't get everything, they're going to try to. Okay. Somebody's going to try to get everything. Okay. Ooh. So that looked like a cross right there. So card number 36. So I do feel like somebody is sad about this. Um, I do feel like somebody's having a hard time, uh, you know, being uh, in this situation. Okay. And I do feel like after that sadness goes away, then it's going to turn into anger. And that anger is what's going to end up in court. Okay. That anger is what's going to end up in court. 
Um, but somebody is, I want to pay you back for how you hurt me. Okay. And of course, when you got per people who only care about material things and money, I do feel like that's what this person is going to be after. Um, not necessarily because they need it, because they know it's going to hurt them. Like that's going to hurt their feelings. Okay. Like my feelings is hurt. All right. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Cancer, cancer, cancer. All right, so we got the Emperor Reverse. Oh, goodness. So it looked like somebody may try to take a whole business from somebody, okay? Um, so if I'm not taking a whole business, I feel like I want to strip somebody from their uh, position, okay? And I do feel like that is because of what's been going on, what they've been doing, okay? So we got the Ace of Swords here. So this is like some kind of mental um, security, mental stability. Um, I know exactly what to do. Plans is coming out in victory, okay? So it looked like well, whoever put they, I mean, when you put your plans together on how to make this person pay for what they did in a court of law, it's going to work. It's going to work. Like, we're going to take this fight to court. All right, Wheel of Fortune, upright. So I do feel like things have not been going good so far, but I do feel like now things are getting ready to get a lot better, okay? And I do feel like it, it, the truth is it's because you're going to hurt them like they hurt you, okay? So it's like the, I'm, respectfully, it's like the misery loves company. So it's like you broke me up and you made me sad, and now that you sad, I'm happy, okay? But I don't feel like, I just feel vindicated, Okay, so forget what I said about the misery loves company. It's the vindication for me. Okay, but it's just like you—you you can't just go act like everything is all beautiful with you after you did this to me. You're gonna pay. All right. So we got the King of Wands reversed here. So I do feel like we're dealing with a situation where somebody wanted to be all over the place. Um, somebody didn't want to be free. I mean, they wanted to be free, but wanted to deal with people who, like, you don't do nothing. You sit there and wait for me, and I can do what I want to do. Uh, can't nobody hold me down, but I'm going to hold you down and hold you back. Um, I do feel like this person was, I heard volatile. Like, their mouth was just out of control, okay? Um, but I feel like they weren't this person at first, but they turned into this person once they knew that, that they that they had me. Okay. All right. So we got the Knight of Wands reversed here. So I do feel like somebody was getting pushed out or moved out of somewhere. Um, I do feel like somebody was taken off or, or somebody went on a trip and left me home. Um, but I feel like some kind of eviction or put out was connected to this uh, situation or being left out, okay? Um, I do feel like it could have been somebody did not talk to me or wouldn't talk to me for a while. Um, and I do feel like this is just how things was. Like, I talk to you when I feel like talking to you. And when I feel like talking to you, you need to drop what you're doing, okay? Okay? Um, but I do feel like somebody actually finally cut themselves off or got cut off from this situation. And I do feel like somebody's moving forward and moving away in a stronger um, in a stronger way. And I, on, I honestly feel like this stronger way is only going to happen after um, the legal situation is happening. And after, excuse me, after I see this person suffering um, from from what I'm doing to them because of what they did to me, okay? Uh, yeah, I feel like what they did to me was just part of it, but they're definitely going to have to pay for what they've done, okay? But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.